I want to show everybody how to handle your bananas in the winter time. I get a lot of questions about what do I do once a freeze comes. I don't think it makes a lot of sense to try to protect them with um, bundling them. I've seen people wrap cloths all the way around the trunk and it just plants aren't like people. We generate heat and so a coat keeps us warm and it holds the heat in. But the banana tree isn't generating any, generating any heat. So you'd have to put a tent all the way over the top and then cover the ground to trap the heat from the ground. And it's just not practical. So try to plant your bananas in a warm location, near a house, near a structure like this, uh, near concrete, near water, on the south side of a building or a fence to protect it. But when the winter does arrive, which we get a little of, these leaves are gonna freeze. They'll turn brown and they'll all look like this one morning. You'll come out and they're all gonna be hanging down and they'll be brown. So the first thing to do in the winter, once that happens, is to just cut these leaves off. And you don't have to do anything special. Just cut all the leaves off. And that's what it's gonna look like all winter. You're just gonna leave that alone. Now, hopefully it's a mild winter and you're in a warm spot and you get very little damage, but Hard freezes may come and you'll get damage starting at the top. So in the springtime, once you think freezes are done, that's probably gonna be late February, sometime in March, you're gonna come back in here and you're gonna take the top oh, six inches to a foot off of this tree and you'll just cut right across there. And what you're looking for is a clean center. So right in the middle of this trunk, it should be bright green or white. And if the center is when you cut it off that first top, you're good to go. It's going to regrow from that exact spot. If it's brown and mushy, the whole thing, even the center's brown and mushy, you need to take a little bit more. So you'll just get back in there. You'll cut a little more. You can use a kitchen knife, like a chopping knife is a great idea. Um, that's typically the best thing to do this. So you should hopefully get a nice clean center in here, white or green. Once you see that, stop. And it's just going to regrow from there. So that's all you have to do with your bananas in the winter time. Um, um, the goal to get fruit is to have a trunk grow from very small to large in one year, but not produce a flower. You want it to just hang out over the winter without a flower. And then you want a flower to come out early in the spring. And that means it's gonna have enough time to ripen the fruit. It can take six months for the fruit to ripen from flower to when you're eating the fruit. There are a few new varieties that are pretty exciting, Cocopo and Venti Coho that are, are really fast. And the little plant goes from this big to ripe fruit in nine months. And those are new and we're just trying those out. But this is what you're gonna do with your conventional bananas. Now, once they've produced fruit and you've harvest, harvested, that cane or that trunk isn't gonna produce again. So you can just go ahead and cut that at the ground once you've gotten fruit from a trunk. That way new ones can come up and they'll do their thing. It's about a two year cycle. One year to grow big, second year to actually produce fruit. And then you cut it down and you get more. So keep an eye on them. Just keep, you know, do this once a year, go in and, and do your winter care. And after you've selected fruit or harvested fruit, cut those to the ground. That'll keep your patch rejuvenated and growing well. As long as we have warm winters, we're all getting a lot more bananas.